What's up, YouTube? We back with another video, and today got a little story time for y'all boys. You feel me? See, I told y'all we we gonna keep running it up. You feel me? We coming different. We gonna have a different type. We gonna be talking. I just wanna talk to y'all. How y'all doing? How you doing, my boy? Man, man. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? And ladies too, cause I don't know if no females watching, but shout out to y'all too. What's going on? Today we got us a little story time. And as you can see by the title, it's a story time on how I met Playboy Cardi. You feel me? In a whole big old. You feel me? I met Destroy too. Ken too. The bald head too. And I ain't meet the bald dude, but I seen the bald head too. You feel me? You know about the bald dude. You know about the bald dude. But nah. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it. You feel me? Hold on, matter of fact. I think I'm gonna do a thing where like, cause y'all know I love music. Like, I was doing a little interviews and things. I don't know if I'm probably gonna ever do interviews. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna never collab with no artist cause I love music. Like, some days I slip be wanting to drop my own song with a music video. You feel me? But I think I'm gonna do a thing where like, I don't know if I'm gonna do that cause it's like, I know I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an underground artist. Like artist that's not really blown up for real just yet. But they got a little following, they buzzing. You feel me? And the first dude I'm gonna do is a dude named Apollo Red. He's saying, I thought like this is the perfect video to incorporate him in there cause he say he's Blood Blood Cardi cousin. But it's shit hard. I'm gonna play one song for y'all. It's called YBL Shooter. Apollo Red. If y'all wanna go tap in, it's called this off his EP, Vamp Diary One. And it's on Apple Music, YouTube, his Instagram, Apollo Red. Let's see what he's talking about. I noticed, I heard this song, but I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Yeah. <laughs> They have a baby and put him in baby rich. You know that my type of shit. My little they my type of bitch. Buy that smart man game on top of shit. I'm the one that got no heat. Why be a shooter for double O? Man, got pay your ass. How about, 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 how now, some of y'all remember, like, this happened, like, at the end of last year, like, December 2023. It's July now, so it's been a couple months. I could have been told y'all on Instagram and told, but I was like, I'm going to just be smooth, because I ain't trying to, you feel me? Just be smooth, twin. You know? Keep it real. Like, this nigga, that ass, one of my, he like my favorite artists. So this shit was big for me. Call it glaze, call it what you want to call it. Bitch, if you met your favorite rapper, you would be doing it. You would be happy, too, if you met your favorite rapper. You would be... You'll be happy, so don't even do that. But I was smooth with it, you know. I was cool. Hell going on to it. Anyway, so boom, let's tell y'all how I started from the beginning. So first, this at the time, at this time I was working at this hotel in Atlanta. I ain't gonna disclose the location because I don't know they probably wanna go back there or whatever. I don't work there no more. But I was doing ballet, ballet boy. We get your keys, we get your whip, <laughs> park them. <laughs> You got a tip. Thank you. You feel me? That job was smooth, though. It was smooth. I, let a, I met a lot of people at that job. Man, on count. But I'm the type of dude, I don't know if y'all like this, too, but, like, you can meet somebody, like, an artist or somebody, an actor, anybody you a fan of or you support or you like what they do, but I will not say nothing. I don't know why, like, I'm just the type of person. I be feeling like I don't want it because they human, of course. There ain't nothing wrong with showing love and you saying you like what somebody do, but I'm the type of person in my head, I already be overthinking and I be thinking, like, Maybe they having a bad day, they don't want to be bothered. Then y'all know how they say, like, when you meet somebody you, like, idolize or, like, you you mess with, you rock with heavy. Sometimes you'll meet them, and then it'll make you not like them because how they treat you or how they act as a person. Long story short, I'm going to try to keep it, I'm going to try to keep it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to drag it too much. But I work at the hotel. The first person I met was Ken. So I'm doing my little due diligence, doing my job. Got my work uniform and everything, ballet boy. I get a little, a little ding ding thing to go get the, uh, get a whip. So it's a Hellcat. Mind you, this hotel I was working at is a high end hotel. Like it's in an area where a lot of rich people be staying, a lot of them high class people. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a Hellcat. I'm like, okay, cool. I get in the, I don't drive a lot of nice cars up there, but I get in the Hellcat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy, he got that. Hey, hey, he got that. Hey. So I get in the car, I go get it, drive it to the front. Soon as I get out of the car, I look. Buddy right there smiling. You know, Ken, he got a little smirk. He, he smiling. He like, nah, what you doing up here? 
I say, dang, but he know me. Instantly in my head, I'm thinking like he like I was baffled. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm just fine. Cause he done did me before on like like almost two years ago. I was did like y'all know I be doing the skits. I had did like I was doing like this emo thing. And I was rapping like that, this rock and roll song like right around the time that start it started. He first started going crazy, and he slid up with life emojis from like his spam his spam or something. He ain't with no real interaction, but he did say something to you, boy. And I just laughed back. So boom, he used to be dapping each other up, and I was like, y'all work up here, bro. Ooh, ooh. It was smooth transition, gave me a key, got in the car. Ain't nothing too crazy, like I was just in there having a full blown combo with him. I ain't even finna cap like that. But I did meet dude. Next thing you know, I'm like, okay. So he's staying at the hotel. Next thing you know, I'm consistently seeing him like every other day. He, he was staying there for a little minute, you feel me? And I working, I was working. You feel me? So I worked the morning shift, but he, he, he type, I ain't even finna disclose all that. But I was seeing him a lot. And so every time he seen me, he would speak. And it was just crazy to me, like, he actually knew who I was off rip. I ain't even had to say, hey, on some fan out, you know what I'm saying? Not saying there's something wrong with people that, you know, they don't know you, yeah, that's tough. But one of my favorite rappers, he knew me. And I actually listened to Buddy since, like, Boy Barbie, like, back in the day when Kid had little, he had little dread, little dreads. You feel me? Before X-Men, you feel me? So I'm day one. And then, I don't think I, I, I ain't going to say I regret, but I wish I was more vocal because, like, like I said, I'm real laid back, bro. I don't be one to, I ain't no real talker to do. I got to really be around you to open up to really feel you out as a person and really talk for real. So it don't matter how known you is, how popular you is, how rich you is, whatever the case may be. I'm not the type of dude that's going to be, hey, bro, hey, hey, bro, 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 hey, bro, bro. Mind you, I listen to you a lot. And it take me, like, I express that for sure. I'll let you know that as time go on, like, you know, just hanging out with somebody, like just being around for, for a little minute. That interaction was a little quick. Boom, keep it pushing. Now, every time I seen him, he'll dab me out here to speak. Like, he cool, cool dude, though. I ain't gonna lie, shout out Ken, bro. He a cool dude, bro. Boom. They say no. Second uh, um, opium member. They pull up in that ooh wee. He with his manager. If y'all know who his manager is, you know who his manager is. Soon as they pull around the curve and where I work at, I'm standing up front. Mind you, once again, I ain't said nothing. It's Charlotte and roll the window down. Hey, you that funny, you that funny dude that be making a video. Before I even, cause I gotta go up to the car and greet them to get them a ticket and do do all that. So I'm like, damn. I'm tapped in. He pull up. He dot me up. Ooh. ooh. You like, bro, keep doing what you're doing, bro. We be laughing at your videos, bro. You find that hell, ooh. So I'm taking all this in, like, dang. You really just never know who be watching, bro. You really never know, because they the type of dude like them. I ain't never seen them in my life. They ain't never coming into my video. They ain't never said nothing. But you just never know who watching. Mind you, these people I really listen to a lot. Like, my Apple music, bro. I think the short long is like the whole opium, like, bro, I be on their music heavy. Like, if you know me, bro, I be putting my friends onto them. Like, I done put a lot of people onto them since the beginning. I ain't gonna cap about the short long. I ain't gonna cap. I kind of got on the short long, like, around that Bane type time when he started going up. But Ken, for sure. Cardi, for sure. Damn, I'm a day one supporter, nigga. I was, I've been with them since day one. Ain't nobody, any mixtape, any song, I know it. You feel what I'm saying? No glaze intended, but I know what's going on with the music. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, he got me up. The him in particular, like I said, with Ken, I ain't asked for no picture. But him, I, I, I was like, bro, cause he was doing, he was a lot more vocal. He was talking, he was, he, he was chopping up a little bit. Then he asked for a picture. He was like, yeah, for sure, I got you. Took the picture. And I asked Ken the next time I seen him to get a picture with him. And then my, oh my fault, I skipped over the part. He told me he was gonna give me some merch. Now Ken, I ain't asked you for that merch, twin. You said, hey bro, what size, you asked me what size I wear, gang. How you ask me before what size I wear and you ain't come through? I seen him like a couple more times. I was like, I ain't gonna be no fiend. I ain't gonna be no fiend. Like two days after I seen him again, I was like, what's up with the merch? What happened with the merch? He was like, ah, oh, I forgot, bro. I was at the studio. Ooh, I'm, I got you. I got you. What size you wear again? He asked me the size again. So now you blue balling me. Cause why you keep asking for my size? You ain't finna come through. Twin, you really can give me your hoodie off you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just fine. Let me chill. Let me chill. But nah. If you see this, Ken, I still need my merch, gang. But I'll pay for the merch. I'm going to come to your tour. Uh, what's this? Uh, I think it's like in August, late August. He coming to Atlanta again. I'm pulling up. I'm going to go I'm gonna go cop me some merch myself. 
But you did tell me you don't give me some merch. But it's all good, Gango. We still, I still love you. Both of them two, Ken and the Shark, I was seeing them for like a smooth month, bruh. Y'all don't, y'all think I'm lying for views? I don't have no reason to lie about meeting dudes. Like that shit kind of, that's, that's crazy. I'm not lying about none of this. My friends, people I know in real life, I've been told them about this months ago. I black truck pull up. It sit right in front of the hotel. Mind you, this is around the time that he had just reposted my video. You feel me? So I'm getting, he seen my face. So the black truck pull up. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. When I tell stories, I be kind of all over the place. Black truck pull up. Boom. It's two little young niggas pull up. They get outside. They sticked up. Drake, buddy. Let me chill. Let me chill. I don't want to say too much. But buddy, put, buddy, put, it was two dudes standing outside the hotel. Like just standing there. And they kept looking at me like, eyeballing me like, and in my head, I'm like, nigga, what the fuck, what y'all looking at? I'm One of them walk around to the driver's side, and they was talking to somebody window, but it's so blacked out, I can't see who in the car. So I was just sitting on my phone, chilling. I'm like, bro, they just sitting there like they're going to move or anything. But some told me not to walk up to the truck, because I really supposed to approach the truck and be like, hey, how can I help you? Like, are you parking? Woo -woo. But it was a slow day. And they were just sitting there, they ain't in, in nobody way. Cause like if somebody in the in the, in the like the drive when they block and I have to direct them to move up. But some told me, don't say nothing to them. Two dudes, they walking up. So I instantly look at them right when I'm about to actually say something to them, because I'm confused. Like I was gonna ask them, do they need help? Or they wait, like went on the Uber. Y'all need to like, what y'all good? I look this way. Guess who coming around the cut? Playboy car. <laughs> Stupid eye. But yeah, he walked around the truck. As soon as I've looked that way and seen him, he already right here. Open arm, smiling. Nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I froze. He walk up. He walk around that bit. He open arms. Dot me up. Then gave me the hug. You know how when somebody hug you, they, they face on the side of your face right here. So he say, I got you. Much love. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm with you. And dot me up again. Walk straight into the hotel. Boy, when I tell you my heart was no diddy, no homo. Like, like if you got out the truck and walked in, me being me, bro, I would have not said anything, bro. I would have instantly just texted one of my friends and be like, bro, guess who I seen today at work? I wouldn't have said nothing. I wouldn't have been like, hey, Cardi, wait, bro, can I get a pic? I ain't going do none of that. I want, and I wasn't gonna do none of that because it's just not me. Like, it's just not in me to do that. You feel me? But the fact that bro walked up and spoke to me and told me that, bro, you a real one, gang. And I did him after the fact. I said, bro, I appreciate you, bro. He ain't never opened my dick. If you see this, bro, y'all need somebody. You feel me? A little music video cameo tight time. Man. How y'all got them bald dudes at the festival going crazy? I right, get on stage, go crazy, turn up with y'all. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, oh, double O Nard. I was just smiling and I dapped him back up. Then he walked in straight into the hotel after he did that. He walked away. And then the dude walk in, one of his partners walk up. He was like, bro, you gonna hold us down? I guess he was saying like not expose the fact that they were there. But y'all can trust your boy. And anybody else, they would have been, yay, yay. I ain't even do all that. I ain't even asking for no picture. I ain't gonna care. I really felt like he probably wouldn't want to take no picture anyway. But he took picture with, pictures with people. And the fact that he walked up on me, he probably would have took the picture. So I be looking back like, damn. What if I would've got that picture? What if I would've said something else? Cause all of them, I could've been, you know how people be promoting themselves and be, hey, check me out on, or I could've did, I could've said something about my skits and video, cause they know about the skits. I could've offered them a haircut. Cause y'all know I cut hair. I could've been like, bro, if you ever need a cut, and I'm like, Ooh, I ain't do none of that. But I was looking back, I did wish I would've said more to like, let him know I right with them, because I feel like I gave off, like, each and every one of them. I wasn't, like, the vibe I gave, I was just real chill. I ain't even, they don't even know how much I really rock with them. Like, I ain't say too much. I was just like, what's up, bro? Nice to meet you. Boom. I just keep it pushing. But in my head, I'm like, damn. I really just met, bro. More of the story, bro. You just never know who watching, bro. So anybody you looking up to or you like or whatever the case may be, bro, you just never know, bro. Anything can fall into place, bro. You don't never know who really a fan of you, who really like what you doing. Somebody you might look up to or look at what they doing. You really like what they doing. You thinking, damn. You just never know, bro. You just never know, bro. Because I would have never thought in a million years that I was ever going to meet, bro, like that. Like, he was going to actually walk up to me and greet me and let me know, I got you, gang. 
So I appreciate it, bro. Because that did motivate me for sure, bro. Like, damn, bro, you just never know who's watching, bro. So whatever you're doing, bro, keep doing what you're doing, bro. Keep grinding, bro. Because you never know. Because imagine if I made music. That could have been an opportunity for me, for sure. The fact that he walking up on me, I ain't going to say I would have got a feature. But you know, you just never know how stuff can play out. So I appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah. That's a story, though. Ain't nothing too, 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 too crazy. But in my head, it was crazy. I feel like I should share it with y'all, bro. And make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. We out there, bitch. Love y'all, boys. YBL.